many people have been saying it for a while, and we now actually get to see it. Bronny ain't ready for the NBA, but when your father is none other than LeBron James, he can get a pass due to his unbelievably huge star power he leverages over the league anytime he wants to make them do something. Remember when people said the Lakers were unsure about drafting Bronny? Immediately, we saw LeBron entering Madison Square Garden dressed in Knicks colors and wearing their towel in the post-game interview. The guy is great at playing mind games, so the Lakers had a choice. Draft someone we actually want, but lose LeBron, or draft Bronny, make LeBron happy and keep the dollars coming in. However, what looked like a money grab season without any playoffs ambitions turned into something really promising. They went 3-0 at the beginning, and everyone started losing their minds. People started throwing the championship parade on social media, which is nothing to be surprised about in this day and age. But the Lakers made everyone question their position in the league. You may say it's too early, and that's a fair argument, but just look at what's happening with Milwaukee being dead last in the East and Philly trailing right behind them. We know the NBA NBA's motto is where amazing happens, but could this be a season where the impossible happens? Hello basketball fans and welcome to Hoop Vision. Today, we're trying to break down whether Bronny has any future in the league and how far can the Lakers get with their current circumstances. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, takes only a second, costs nothing, and will give you access to more basketball stories. So, we had a nice moment for the NBA history books. Bronny checked in against Minnesota, making it the first time in the league a father and son were on the court together. Sure, it was touching, and the media will have something to write about throughout the season, but what does this mean for the Lakers? Did Bronny really destroy their season? Right after the draft, the fans were mad at LeBron. The main word on sports television for weeks was nepotism. Bronny had one job, to prove them wrong, but he couldn't. His summer league performances were nothing but disappointing. Throughout the summer league, Bronny averaged 7 points on 32% from the field and just 13% from 3. And it wasn't just that. His first 15 three-point attempts were misses, so at one point, his 0 for 15 was the most talked about thing ever. It was like summer league wasn't even going on. So why was this such a big of a deal? Because this would all make sense if Bronny was a top 10 draft pick, but the guy got picked at 55. You don't give a second rounder that much airtime unless he's putting up surprisingly good numbers. Bronny was proving everybody he's not ready for the NBA, and it became more obvious as time went on, but the real reason people got pissed off was his contract. The Lakers signed him on a four-year, $7.9 million guaranteed deal, which is done only when players are exceptionally good and franchises want to keep them around. You do that for guys like Luka, Tatum, or Wemby, but Bronny? Imagine how Dalton Necht feels knowing he'll make the same amount of money in his guaranteed part of the contract. Sure, we can say $8 million isn't bad, but the dude was picked at 17 and was actually an NBA-ready player. Signing Bronny to that type of contract was a slap in the face for all the guys grinding for years in college, working their way up towards the league. Just for comparison, the 54th pick in this year's draft was Anton Watson. The Celtics took him after he spent playing five years of college basketball at Gonzaga, an experienced forward averaging 14 points and 7 rebounds on 57% from the field and 40% from three. You know how much his contract with Boston is worth? Almost a little bit over $500,000 with only 70k guaranteed. That's insane. It's also the reason Bronny gets so much hate despite being actually likable. The guy was born in an incredible wealth, but instead of partying with Hollywood kids, he chose to pursue basketball. LeBron had a huge influence on his son, but still, getting back after the cardiac arrest incident in 2023 deserves nothing but respect. Bronny likes basketball, and that's obvious. But what's also obvious is that it's not enough. So far, his stats are 0.7 points, 0.3 rebounds, and 0.7 assists per game, which we can't hold against him since he's played only 8 minutes in total. But he doesn't get minutes for a reason. Bronny is not the NBA-level shooter, and his defense is mediocre at best. So what would be the best course of action for the Lakers? G League. Just like the Celtics have sent their rookie Watson into the G League, so should the Lakers. Bronny would benefit way more from playing 20 to 25 minutes there rather than warming the bench with the adults. At the time of making this video, the Lakers have dropped to a 4 and 4 record, so it's time to get serious if they don't want to lose the momentum acquired by the good start. Their November schedule does not look friendly at all, so Bronny probably won't have any additional playing time. The Lakers are facing the Grizzlies and Spurs twice, Sixers, Magic, Nuggets, Suns, and Thunder, among others. Talk about having a rough path. It's obvious to you these games won't be easy to win, and regardless of how good buddies LeBron and JJ are, Bronny isn't getting played when you're tied with the Suns 
Suns, for example, at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Garbage time isn't a place to learn much as well, so G League sounds like the most reasonable thing to do. What's great about it is that if Bronny shows signs of improvement, nothing stops the Lakers from playing him whenever they feel like it. But until that point, his role within the team is just like his stats, almost non-existent. However, it's not like everything about Bronny is all negative. In high school, he was a very decent player, averaging 14, 5, and 2 as a senior, and led his team to a 23-11 record, which got them to the Division I regional finals. We know he ruined his public image in his one year of college, but to be fair, it was the year he was recovering from heart issues, so that year may not be the real indicator of his potential. The question everybody wants to know the answer to is, does Bronny have a future in the league after LeBron retires. This might depend on a couple of things. First, it will come down to how Bronny uses these two or three seasons while his father is still playing. If he doesn't develop into a role player and stays known just for being the daddy's boy, it's hard to imagine any franchise wasting a roster spot once he's not bringing LeBron along with him. But if he goes to G League and actually gets the playing experience under his belt, he could become a solid 3 and D player. That would guarantee him at least that 9 to 12 rotation space, which is what many worse players than him have occupied before. However, this will massively depend on how willing LeBron is to sacrifice his ego. If we know anything about the King, is that he thinks high of himself and doesn't take the backseat for anyone, even if we're talking about the future of the entire franchise. He's probably thinking, I didn't get Bronny drafted to the Lakers so he could play away in the G League, but here's what might change his mind. If Los Angeles could somehow reach the playoffs, there are so many records to be broken and new milestones to be set with this new father-son on the same roster situation. LeBron has tried to convince us for years he's not about individual awards and achievements, but come on, he loves it. So if he throws Bronny into the G League, it will be for one reason only, to help LeBron James achieve more. That's pretty much what LeBron has always done. Fire coaches, trade for teammates, trade away the teammates, anything that might help achieve his goals. Unfortunately, Bronny got caught up in the middle of all this just because of LeBron's dream of playing with his son. If he got drafted to teams like the Jazz or the Hornets, Bronny wouldn't receive one-tenth of the hate. But hey, it's all about making LeBron happy. Bronny's career in the post-LeBron era will be determined by how well he actually avoids his father's influence. Because, let's face it, he won't make much progress on the Lakers. If he stays the same, there's a chance his last name gets him a spot somewhere in Europe which is actually nice for developing real basketball knowledge and fundamentals. In fact, many players have revived their careers over there. Another option is LeBron becomes the coach in the NBA, but that's just another possible nightmare. Could you imagine what he could do with the team as a coach? If he's able to pull all of these shenanigans as a player? That's for the future us to worry about. As things currently are, Bronny doesn't look like an NBA player, and unfortunately, his future is not entirely dependent on him. Still, if he works on transforming himself both physically and mentally, we can expect to see the James jersey for many more years in the NBA. That's it for today, Hoop fam. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments if you think Bronny can make it in today's league. Thank you for watching and growing this channel. Make sure you don't miss out on more NBA stories by hitting that subscribe button. See you!